hi guys and welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i've posted life has hit a little bit and it's been busy and hectic but i am back so this is going to be a mashup of all different type of things i had to do um it's a couple of days mashed up to be quite honest so we did get some new patio doors installed um, which is what you guys see in the beginning of the video um and i'm getting started this day with um getting all my girls ready for the day have to change their water and their food so they are ready to go for the day these are my chickens and um, if you guys see i only let a few out and that is only because the ones that are inside there is one of the older ones there but they're still little and i have one of my dogs that has already killed three of my chickens and since they're still small they could fit through the dog kennel and i just don't want to take any risks so that's why the big girls already are used to it to being let out and once they get big enough and they don't fit in any holes um and there's no potential threat of them being killed then i will be finally letting them out but those are baby chicks they're only a few months old so that's what i'm gonna be doing i will be doing a few more things like cleaning um you guys will see a grocery haul and also um, a cooking video of a creamy onion chicken that is my husband's favorite dish um but that besides this i want to let you guys know i love my chickens <laughs> they are my babies i've never been really attached to animals um never been a dog person i've been a cat person i like cats but just never been the type to get attached to animals and for some reason these chickens just got me like i don't know how to explain it but these are my girls they're spoiled they get whatever they want um i only get what is the best for chickens um my husband knows when my dog had killed the other chickens i was in tears because they're just my babies <laughs> and here you guys will see uh, my son helps me because he still doesn't go to school so he helps me get the eggs in the morning and do all that um, we do need to clean their coop a little bit just because it's been messy so hopefully i'm able to record that for you guys on how i take care of that in another video but for that enjoy the video thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe Hola mi gente y bienvenidos a mi canal otra vez, muchas gracias por regresar, yo sé que ha sido un tiempo que no he puesto videos porque he estado muy ocupada y pues la vida pasa, que se puede hacer, um, pero les traigo este video, um, van a hacer muchas cosas, son diferentes días, um, no pude tener tiempo de organizar un video como me gusta hacerlo, pero um, van a ver que estoy haciendo lo que hago en la mañana con mis gallinas, mis niñas, que les tengo que arreglar su agua, su comida, para que puedan estar bien todo, todo el día. Y como vieron en el principio del video, solo saqué a las gorditas porque son las que son más mayores. Los que están adentro de la jaula son más chiquitas y pueden, um, lo que les estaba contando en inglés era que tengo uno de mis perros que ya me mató tres gallinas y tengo miedo que me mate más o trato de no dejar a las chiquitas todavía que se salgan porque pueden um, meterse por el hoyo donde están los perros. Um, pero para otro video les puedo enseñar más cosas sobre las gallinas. Hoy vamos a estar viendo limpieza, um, qué es lo que agarré en una uh, en marqueta que agarré y también una receta de un pollo que es el favorito pollo de mi esposo que le gusta que le hagan para que puedan tener esa receta y espero que les guste el video por favor como siempre suscríbanse denme los deditos para arriba comenten en cosas que pueden qué, qué es lo que quieren ver en los videos futuros de mí son muchas gracias
I want to pop up here really quick just to let you guys know that I do have a Christmas decor video that I want to put up. We still haven't put up um, any of the Christmas decorations. I'm going to be doing it this weekend. Um, so I'm going to be recording that. Besides that, I'll be doing another uh, get it all done uh, video most likely because I need to clean my office and my closet. Um, we are doing some changes to our house um we got a new bed for our bedroom so i want to show you guys how i put that together how i completely uh rearranged and redecorated uh, my master bedroom so those are future videos but i would like you guys to socialize with me let me know what type of ideas what do you guys want um do you guys prefer more of the get it all done the cleaning motivation um decor on what i do um ideas diys you know i like doing all that stuff or more mom life um i was thinking of doing like a morning routine or a night routine um on a <laughs> mama four so just um you know socialize with me let me know what you guys would like to see um i do cook a lot so recipes is fine with me because i love cooking and more into depth because i do post on my tiktok a lot of recipes but they're you know 60 seconds videos they're not into depth so if you guys would like more into depth uh, videos on cooking i could be gladly doing it here so just let me know okay mi gente les quería dejar saber que tengo unas ideas de qué tipo de videos voy a estar poniendo en el futuro tengo un video que quiero poner de cómo de voy a decorar mi casa para el día de navidad y todo eso so, tengo eso planeado también tengo planeado de um, hacer un video cuando limpio mi oficina y también mi closet y le estamos cam haciendo cambios a nuestro a cuarto principal de mi esposo y yo um, y quiero que comuniquen conmigo y me digan qué tipo de contexto, contexto quieren. Um, si quieren más um, recetas en detalle, porque en mi TikTok sí pongo recetas, pero solo son uh, que son 60 segundos de, del video. So no son muy en detalle, pero se los puedo poner aquí con más detalle en hacer todo. O gustan ver más de... La vida de una mamá de cuatro niños, que es mi rutina. Um, yo no creo que me digan qué es lo que quieren ver para poder yo poner más videos. Tengo mis, mis ideas y todo eso, pero quiero que se comuniquen un poco más conmigo. So, les quería dejar saber eso. Vamos a regresar al video. Gracias.
okay guys so this is what i got for groceries um it's just for basically today and tomorrow but i got the salad love the salad my husband loves it got some bell pepper some onion and some meat i got this it's beef soup but i'm gonna cut it into little pieces because i'm gonna make lomo saltado which is a peruvian dish this is also with that dish you need fries for that dish and then i just got some like lunch snacks when i'm busy and i can't be in the kitchen i just pop some of these for the kids and they like them i am a boring cereal girl and i love cornflakes yes crackers and i like to add this into it i don't know if you guys remember back in elementary that's how i used to eat the cornflakes you want a burger okay yeah so that's how i add the cereal to add some sugar so you guys are, I'm, about, I'm about to put all of this away and then i'll show you guys all the christmas stuff okay, i got so this is some of the christmas stuff i got um i already have a lot of christmas decorations but i got some candy canes because i'm going to be adding one candy cane and some of these lindor chocolates because this is my favorite chocolate um and i'm gonna add it to each gift like two pieces plus a candy cane um these are for my my son's um friends gifts that we're going to be giving um these because there is a gift i need to give to somebody who loves chocolate so that's for her i got these because i love to have seasonal um napkins that i put right here as you guys see right there and i needed some of these so i can name the gifts they're pretty cute i got these decorations these are some acorns <laughs> and some reindeers and that is gonna go with this this is a garland which i'm gonna be changing that whole table from thanksgiving to christmas so i have some ideas to do that along with these flowers this bow and some of these lights some of these little bells um, i got these calligraphy markers so when i write the names on this or a message in the cards it could look really nice and back here I got some of these and I got the spray as well. It is so much fun, snow, much fun. And it smells really, really good. It's not, how can I say, it's fresh. That's the best way I can describe it. And it smells really good. So I'm gonna be putting these around the house. And that is it guys. Okay, so let's get started with my Vallarta haul. That is a Latino store. I got two oils. Um, I get most of my Colombian products. Most of this that I'm getting is Colombian. That is a um, Peruvian uh, spice, like Chile. But all of these are basically all Colombian. El pinole, that's Mexican, of course. But I got all these plantain chips. The avena in vanilla and strawberry. Got pan dough this is for vitamins <laughs> that i'm missing i love this drink it's super popular in colombia so um and i got some um panela it's from colombia so i got this 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 colombian spice i need to have to make my colombian dishes so i got that um and i got these butter cookies that are so delicious <laughs> um me and my kids love to eat a lot of bread i'm not supposed to eat it because i have celiac disease but uh, sometimes it's hard and this is what i got at smart and final i got some beans i got some cheese some rice that i need for a gathering we're going this weekend i got just eggs because i feel like my son has the same issue with me for some reason eggs don't don't ever sit right with me and i think my son is having the same issue i got some crackers barbecue sauce beer batter talk uh taco mix because my husband loves tacos like that i got some mozzarella some uh shredded carrots for some coleslaw my little one loves madeleines i got some tomatoes avocado um well, guacamole and then i got some fresh mozzarella that my kids like to eat some spices that i don't have that i found there any spice or condiment that i don't have i grab it i am a total hoarder when it comes to spices and condiments i got this big horchata thing because my kids love horchata i needed some chia seeds because i haven't had some in a while so i got those 
some barbecue sauce because I like my food spicy. If I'm not running to the restroom, I don't want it. Um, and I have some salsas for my husband as well because he don't do chile. And these spices that I saw and I had to get. And of course, some ginger shots um, because it is flu season. It is time to get sick, y'all. And you guys need to do everything to prevent it. So that's what I got from there. Um, I don't think I got it. Yes, I did. And I got some candies um, because my husband likes these um, chamoy gummy worms. I like the tamarindo. I got some charcuterie meat and then some juices and milk as well gotta have some mix for the meaches you know them bloody marys um and this is the milk i got whole milk because my aunt came to make some queso fresco um, which is this type of cheese in mexico and then i'm lactose intolerant and so are my kids so i have to get lactose milk for them got some fish for the fish uh for the beer batter tacos that i was gonna make um the next day and some ribs that my husband wanted so that's what i got that was my grocery haul and here let's get started with cleaning a little bit and we should get to the recipe pretty soon guys Okay guys, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited for Christmas. I love winter. It is my favorite season. Um, there's nothing like cozy weather. I love the summer too, but just winter hits different. <laughs> um, I love it. I love hearing my music while I'm cleaning. There's times where I feel like doing classical music, and right now that I'm able to turn on our chimney, I love it. Um, but if not, if it's a summer and I'm cleaning, I hear my viejita music. If you are Latino, you know the mom Sunday music. That's what I hear. <laughs> Los bukis and all that comes up because um, that is just nostalgia for me. I love it. Um, my kids are like, what the hell are you hearing? And I'm there singing my little heart out. So I love doing this. As you guys see, God, I love seeing the fireplace. It just, ah, this season is just amazing. And I hope you guys are spending it well and do spend it well with your families and enjoy it. It is such a lovely time. I love spending it with my husband and kids. There's nothing more that I love than to spend it with my family. It's a time to rejoice and appreciate each other. And I just love that my kids have a blast. We show them what unity and family is. And those are the good times. That's what you guys are going to be looking back to and be like, wow, like, you know, that is that is what we made, what we built. And I'm so excited to share those memories once my kids are older so I hope you guys spend it well. I'm going to be posting more videos and I hope each and every one of you guys has a loved one and if you don't me and my little family will send you guys love all the way from here okay guys so this is my husband's um super brag recipe that i make it's his favorite chicken and he loves to tell everybody that this is a life-changing recipe um i ended up coming up with this recipe because i was trying to make this italian recipe i don't know if you guys know it but it's some um i grew up eating it at some restaurant but it's basically a lemon butter chicken with um i think it's caper capers um i don't remember the name of it but that's what i was trying to do and i felt completely and i had to mix in some other stuff to try and you know save the recipe and this is what i came up with and 
it just worked. It worked and my husband fell in love with it. Um, and since I made it, it is his favorite one. If I want to make him happy for his birthday, Valentine's Day or whatever special event, this is what he asked for. So um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's really easy. It's not uh, rocket science as you guys will see. Um, so you guys enjoy the recipe. Para mi gente latina, esta es la receta favorita de mi esposo. Él le gusta contarle a todos que es el mejor, mejor pollo receta que él ha tenido en toda su vida. Um, esta la inventé porque estaba tratando de hacer un pollo italiano que se hace con mantequilla y limón, pero completamente arruinó esa, esa receta y tuve que tratar de arreglar y hacer algo con la comida que hice y esta es la receta con que yo hice y desde ahí es favorita de mis hijos y de mi esposo completamente mi esposo está enamorado de este pollo um, y quería compartirlas con ustedes espero que les guste, es muy fácil, no hay nada tan difícil que podamos decir que es difícil pero no Um, no puedo decirle qué exactamente son, um, cuánto le pongo porque honestamente pues con el ojo le pongo todo y espero que les guste esa receta y que si las prueban, por favor déjenme saber um, cómo les gustó. Gracias. Quick note, I hate the smell of any meat in my fingertips. That's why I wear gloves. Um, I don't like it growing up i had no choice but to cut meat without gloves but i hate the smell hate it hate it hate it my props to whoever cooks um just touching the meat i just i've never been fond of it i hate the smell um afterwards and no matter how many times i wash my hands it just it's just nasty <laughs> i don't like it um so that's why i wear gloves when i cook um i try um to make my videos look nice sometimes without wearing gloves but i'm like dying guys i i don't like it without gloves mi gente a mí no me gusta el olor de cualquier carne en mis manos odio el olor no, y más el pollo no sé por qué se pega mucho en los dedos el olor y no me gusta eso por eso uso guantes um, para que no me quede el olor. A mí no me, me importa si me queda el olor de cebolla o de ajo. Um, pero de, de carne no me gusta. Y siento que en, hay mucha bacteria. Y también co como soy mujer. Um, dejo mis uñas crecer. Y usa, uso uñas postizas. Creo que se queda mucha bacteria abajo de las uñas. Y me molesta mucho. Um, yo soy muy enfadosa para cosas así, so, por eso me pongo guantes y yo sé que a una gente no, no les gusta, pero a mí, ay, yo no puedo. <laughs> also, I will be leaving the recipe um, down in the description box, just so you guys are aware. Um, mi gente, quiero dejarles saber que todos los ingredientes van a estar uh, en, en la cajita de abajo para que puedan tener toda la receta. Um, voy a tratar de darles uh, las medidas lo más que yo pueda, pero no sé exactamente si las voy a agarrar correcto.
Alrighty, my lovely people. So we have gotten to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm just going to be setting up the plate so you guys see exactly how it looks. But I want to thank every single every single each and one of you guys that watch my videos and you know support me in this little journey that i'm doing i really appreciate it like always it doesn't go unnoticed i know i mention that in every single video but i want to always make it clear to you guys that i really appreciate it um so thank you so much for watching for all the new people please like and subscribe i would really appreciate it Ok mi gente, so ya llegaron al final del video, les quiero agradecer como siempre que estén viendo mi video, a toda la gente que ha estado conmigo desde el principio, les quiero agradecer mucho y a la gente nueva, uh, muchas gracias por pasar por mi canal y por favor suscríbanse, denme los deditos para arriba, comenten. Les quiero, y se los voy a decir en cada video, se lo agradezco mucho porque de corazón le estoy diciendo eso. Um, veo que está creciendo mi canal y eso me hace tan feliz um, con que pueda ayudar a una persona en la vida o en su vida en enseñarles algo. Me hace tan feliz empezar eso. Yo so les quiero agradecer y como siempre, por favor, comenten, denme los deditos, suscríbanse. Y se lo agradezco mucho que tengan buen semana. Si oye, si lo están viendo un lunes, un martes o cualquier día, se los quiero agradecer mucho. Y los vemos en el próximo video. Chao.